Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. We have another change up today. It's a 2011 uh, Navion, I think, laser travel van. And has only 100, almost 100,000 miles. And already problems with the chain. It's a double row chain here. Already started disassembling everything and we'll continue taking out the injectors. Don't forget to mark up the injectors, the numbers. We will need to take off the EGR cooler, the vacuum pump, and the uh, PCV valve to get our chain exposed, exposed. Start working on the chain then. So after removing everything, uh, I'm getting ready to disconnect the old chain. I prefer once I take off the valve cover, clean all the surfaces here and on the valve cover just getting ready to put it back once the job will be complete. One of the most parts that I don't like uh, in Sprinter application is to take off that uh, EGR cooler but you don't have to disconnect it completely. I only disconnect one pipe and just put it on the side and then once we'll do the tensioner I'll just lift it up and probably secure it with a zip tie or something like that. And one of the obvious signs besides the tensioners that is over there that is extended, you can just see literally how the chain is loose on a spocket. It's not maybe that visible much on a video, but you can literally feel it's pretty loose here. And Despite us having like only 100,000 miles, I'm pretty sure that I can check for sure, but I'm pretty sure there's much more working hours of idling and everything like that. So uh, this is by the way our tool that we developed. I have them in stock. The links will be in the description if you want to order one for yourself. But we uh, put the tool to secure our chain against rolling out of the timing and we'll start disconnecting the old chain, connecting the new one and start rolling it out. So disconnected our chain, but make sure that you're disconnected the right side because this side of the old chain will be connected with the link that goes with the chain together. I'm not secure in this part. I'm gonna carefully just roll it together. When disconnecting the old chain, besides securing it with the zip ties, make sure that you're covering the holes here so the little links will not fall down in the inside downside the the block. Um, our tool will hold the chain, the old chain, on a spocket that's not gonna roll out of timing. But after we'll put the new chain, we'll double check the timing anyways, together with the crankshaft pulley, make sure that they match. Got everything ready to connect the chain. Make sure you correctly align everything here, because if you don't, you can bend the chain and it's gonna have a lot of, a lot of problems. It's supposed to go relatively easy here. Be careful not to lose the links here. Connect it properly and riveted the chain. It's supposed to look like this. The corners needs to be flattened here. It's very difficult to do it on the other side. So you have to manage how to get it done. I'm using two hammers and lightly supporting and hammering the corners just to make sure that they will not go loose. Now, after uh, job is done, we need to do the most interesting part. It's our chain tensioner. I always replace the tensioner together with the chain. I never replace tensioner without the chain or chain without the tensioner. They all, they go together as a pair. Same as the uh, copper seals for the injectors. So I took off the, put inside the intake pipe and with the help of longer, long head, Milwaukee ratchet. Gonna carefully put the new tensioner in place, tighten it secure, and uh, 
basically assemble everything back. So, yeah, and one more thing that I forgot. We're gonna double check the timing again now. We're gonna rotate the crankshaft, put it in a zero position, and check the marks. It's very, very important, because even I had a case once that I, the chain ran out of timing. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. And I assembled, I didn't check the timing. I assembled back together, put the engine on the, on the sprinter van, and I was not able to start it because it was out of timing. And then it just broke all the worker arms. So I had to disassemble everything again. Be attentive, be smart, and everything will be good. Stay tuned, subscribe for more. Works like a clock.